Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are checking out the HM50 Ryzen 5 and HM80 Ryzen 7 minis for them PCs. We will be unboxing it and taking a look at the features. Then running some system and gaming benchmarks to see their performance and compare the results. Let's start with the unboxing. Both models are identical in appearance and box contents. We begin with the quick start guide which is in multiple languages including English, German and French. Next we have the Minis Forum mini computer which we will show in more detail shortly. Underneath the packaging are a power brick and a power cable. We will include the correct adapter for your country. There is a HDMI cable for connecting to your display. There is a hard drive fit in play and SATA cables for when installing up to two 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD inside. And last but not least is a visa mounting plate and screws to attach the mini PC to the back of your display. The HM50 and 80 measures around 5.9 by 5.9 by 2.16 inches and weighs 672 grams. On the front are 3.5mm microphone and headphone jacks. There are two USB 3 ports and a USB Type-C port. On the back are four USB 3 ports. Beside those are two Ethernet ports, one is 2.5 gigabit and the second is 1 gigabit. There are both HDMI and DisplayPort which can be used together for dual monitor display. And there is a second USB Type-C port which is used for the power. Both models can be opened and upgraded. You can if you wish to upgrade the RAM and NVMe storage. There is also space inside to install two hard drive or SSDs to further expand the storage capacity. A quick note that you can use the discount code MINIS5 for 5% 5 off any MINIS Forum mini PC at droix.co.uk. A very brief look at the technical specifications for both models. The HM50 has the AMD Ryzen 5 with 6 cores and 6 threads running up to 4 GHz. The HM80 has the faster AMD Ryzen 7 with 8 cores and 16 threads running up to 4.2 GHz. The HM80 graphics has two additional cores and is 250 MHz faster than the HM50. Both models have choices of 16 or 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM and either 512 gigs or 1 terabyte of PCIe NVMe SSD. We start off the benchmarks with Passmark which pushes the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their limits. This provides an indicator of max performance in each key area. The Minis Forum HM50 scores 4559. The Minis Forum HM80 scores 4699. This gives us a score difference of around 3%. It's not a massive difference, but we may see larger changes later. Unlike Passmark, PC Mark tests more real-world usage, such as day-to-day -day tasks. These tests include performance testing, web browsers, working with large office documents, image editing and much more. The HM50 scores 5097. The HM80 scores 5,413. This gives us a score difference of around 6%. The gap between the two models is slightly growing. 3 d Mark tests the CPU and GPU together to see the video performance, which can include video encoding and decoding, and of course gaming. The Minis Forum HM50 scores 1,111 and the Minis Forum HM80 scores 1361. That's a score difference of around 
we can start to see a larger gap between the two models. We start the gaming benchmarks with Forza Horizon 4 running at 1280x720 on the Ultra Graphics settings. The menus for them, HM50, has a average 39 frames per second. And the menus for them, HM80, has an average of 43. This is around a 9.7% score difference. We are running the first match on Street Fighter V at 1920x1080 on maximum graphic settings. The HM50 scores 27.02 frames per second and the HM80 scores 31.17 frames per second. This gives us a score difference of around 14.2%, a little bit less than 3D mark but still quite a large gap. For Final Fantasy XIV benchmark, we are also running at 1920x1080 with the high desktop settings. The Minis Forum HM50 scores 2938, and the Minis Forum HM80 scores 3232. There's around a 9.5% difference in scores for this benchmark. We finish the gaming benchmarks with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We are running at 1280x720 using the lowest and highest graphic settings. The HM50 scores 51 frames per second on the lowest settings and 25 on the highest. And the HM80 scores 53 on the lowest and 28 frames per second on the highest. That's around a 3.8% difference for the lowest and 113 for the highest. A quick recap of the benchmark scores for both models. In terms of performance for day-to-day -day tasks, there's up to 6% difference between the two. Putting them side by side, you would not see a great deal of difference. Maybe Windows booting slightly faster or software loading a little bit more quickly. But both models are just fine for your tasks from web browsing through to working with large office documents. It's with the 2D and 3D graphics performance where we can see the differences. With the results ranging from 9% up to 20 there is a more noticeable difference between the two models. This is not only applied to gaming, but also for tasks involving working with image and video processing for example. If you are involved in the media side of work, then we would definitely recommend the HM80 over the 50. The extra boost in performance will definitely be noticeable in this case. That wraps up this Minis Forum HM50 and HM80 review and comparison video. We hope you have found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in our next video.